Many brilliant advances have happened because someone was brave enough or desperate enough to take a risk. A bold idea may take years to research and develop, but the payoff can be enormous. Nowhere is this more evident than in the field of healthcare. Legacy, a word that seems to mean more to us the older we get. By definition, it is something gifted, transmitted by, or received from an ancestor or predecessor. In memory of Barbara Broyles, the gift being bequeathed is giving hope to millions touched by Alzheimer's. The Barbara Broyles Legacy is an Arkansas-based nonprofit organization providing practical, life-changing information for families in crisis due to Alzheimer's disease and dementia. The goal of our foundation, the Barbara Royals Legacy, it's, I would really, I would call it a passion or a mission rather than goals, um, is to, of course, get the playbook into the hands of the 70 million caregivers that are in this world, but also to change the perception of this disease, to change it into something positive and life-changing, and to learn the lessons and to pull those lessons out of the experience. The Barbara Broyles Legacy was the result of the determination of Barbara's husband, Frank, former athletic director and head football coach at the University of Arkansas. The mission of this family-run organization? To prepare Alzheimer's caregivers for each stage of the illness and to equip them for the immense challenges ahead. Challenges that Frank and his family tackled head-on. When Barbara was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it, we started searching and there was nothing there to help us as a caregiver. Only big, thick books about the disease. And so we went through the trial and error of mistakes and the right things to do. And when we finished with this, we decided we wanted to help other people by developing a caregiver playbook that would give help so that they could make the right decisions and have a better quality of life. For the four years following her diagnosis, the Broyles family took care of Barbara 24 hours a day in her own home. Soon after her death in 2004, Coach Broyles recognized the need for a simple, quick game plan, an Alzheimer's and dementia playbook for caregivers. If I do believe that this is a book that should be one of the first, if probably the first book that is to be read, don't wait get into it right away, understand it right away. And the faster you get into it, the better off you're going to be and the more help you are going to be to, for your loved one. After Barbara's diagnosis, the Broyles family united and decided to focus on what they did have instead of what they didn't. To make sure each day was the best with no regrets and to share with others what they had learned in caring for Barbara. My mother was such a loving person that she taught us to love people and to help. And that's what sparked the Barbara Broyles legacy. It was to try to help people, to give them our experiences and, and help them and to, to be a better caregiver and to give a better quality of life for everyone in the family, especially for the loved one that has Alzheimer's. With a new case of Alzheimer's being diagnosed every 70 seconds, the Barbara Broyles legacy is committed to getting the practical and life-changing information found in the playbook into the hands of every Alzheimer's and dementia caregiver, not just in America, but globally. They are currently distributing 1.2 million playbooks with printing of another 500,000 currently underway. But with 11 million Alzheimer's and dementia caregivers in the U.S. alone, there are still many who need this easy-to-read how-to manual. This playbook was a godsend to us because not only did it help us where we were at that time in her diagnosis, the handbook helped us be more prepared for us to accept that stage and know how to respond before it happened to us. To learn more about the Barbara Broyles legacy, to read the book online in nine languages, or to obtain your own copy of the Alzheimer's Playbook, log on to www.alzheimersplaybook.com.